So guys, Marc Jacobs has just recently released a new flanker of his perfume Perfect and guess how's it called? Well, this is an intense version. I surprised I'm not, because can we get enough of these? And today I got for you a review on it, so in case you're interested how it compares to the perfect fragrance, make sure to keep on watching because all the details are coming up. All you have to do is to subscribe to my channel right now if you're here for the first time and please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And once you're done with that, we can get started with this. So hello and welcome everyone to today's review on this perfume Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. And this is the first flanker of the Perfect perfume that was released a few years ago. And I feel a lot of people loved it. And I won't lie, I thought it's all right, but nothing groundbreaking. It's actually not that common to get uh, something very special from designer fragrances these days. But, uh, you know, this perfume, Intense, I got as a beauty tester from Douglas. So I thought, why not to review it for you guys? Because there are things that I like and don't like about it, but the presentation is definitely my most favorite part about it, because just look at this box first. It is so cool. I love the details all around it. Just check it out. It is so, so pretty kinda playful and hot couture at the same time. And this is the bottle itself. And this is a beautiful glass with, you know, like some details on the sides. And of course, the cap is the most eye-catching part. There are so many interesting details on it. So it's like a masterpiece, but it's not surprising that Marc Jacobs is great with uh, flacons. Just think about their iconic daisy or my signature scent from the past Lola. I am still so sad that it is discontinued. And there's also a decadence fragrance. So their designs are always very outstanding. But is this an outstanding perfume? Well, enough for the outside. Let's dive right into it. So first of all, that's an amazing sprayer. So it feels very luxurious, but you might think that um, because of the packaging, it is targeted towards younger audience. And that actually makes sense to me because this is a very inoffensive but bright fragrance. And um, when you look at the notes, it sounds very interesting. And uh, I was really excited about it because at least it doesn't sound like many other fragrances out there because in it is Narcissus. And if you're familiar with the scent of the real flower, it is very specific, but it's hard to imitate it in perfumery. So in order to do that, perfumers actually need to create certain accords, but I guess that was not really the task of the perfumer for this fragrance because I can't really say I smell this flower in this perfume, but it's in the company with night blooming jasmine. And jasmine has been literally popular in perfumery for ages. And specifically in the recent, you know, time, jasmine molecules, those inoffensive and very light ones, um, have become, uh, become, you know, must uh, must to be in um, design of fragrances. So in here, I smell flowery energy for sure, but I can't really tell it's Narcissus. Unfortunately, I love it. And in case you do too, and you're interested in Narcissus centered fragrances, quite a few years ago, I filmed like a best of episode dedicated to that note. So in case you missed it, check it out. All the helpful information is going to be down below in the description box. But other than those two flowers, we have almonds in here. And that is one of my most favorite notes, actually, because first of all, it can be really powdery. It can be sugar sweet and slightly metallic. Actually, it is rather textural. And in the base, there is another textural, but woody note this time, which is sandalwood. And you can never go wrong with it. So this is a very simple, fresh and um, floral woody fragrance with just a hint of powdery sweetness in there. And to be honest with you, it reminds me of many other 
designer fragrances out there because it is in the similar shower gel style as I call it. So this is one of those fragrances that will give you this refreshing feeling for the day and it is actually quite long lasting. So it projects well for the first couple of hours, but then you get more of the diffused floral sillage, which is lovely for the everyday basis. That's why I've been wearing it to work. But um, how does it differ from the original Perfect. So first things first, when you look at the notes, there's not much difference. So the same Narcissus, and I remember in that one, I didn't get much of it either, but we have Rhubarb in that pinkish flacon, obviously with a slightly different cap, but I like, you know, the classy and elegant um, gold black style of this that kind of inspired my outfit today. So let me know how I look. But anyway, in that fragrance was Rhubarb, which uh, kind of resonated with the pinkish flacon and I like that but it wasn't like a very obvious rhubarb sort of like in Delina it was rather diffuse so in here I also get the freshness of of fruits and there is banana on the cap, right? And some people actually said that they smell green bananas in here. For me, it's rather a green banana peel, but yeah, there is a hint of that. Unfortunately, no cherry. And if you put it on the bottle, then you should definitely put it inside. What do you think, guys? But yeah, anyway, in that other fragrance, we also had almond milk. Now it's just almond, but yeah, there was just like, you know, this very, very, uh, yeah, undefined powderiness. That is what I'm trying to say. And in the base of that fragrance was cashmere and cedar wood. In here we have sandalwood. So basically the same woody base. The dry down is not the part that they are different at. The opening is actually what's slightly different. And overall, is it like the intense version of uh, the perfect fragrance? Well, at least not in the way it performs, because just slightly, you know, a discreet fragrance. Well, you can smell it throughout the day, but it's not like the powerful and deep intense version, but I definitely like it. Wouldn't purchase it myself though if I hadn't uh, had it? Probably not, but uh, that's one of those fragrances that you can get away with if you get it as a gift or in case you're not into perfume or you're not looking for a fragrance that will stand out among so many other fragrances and will make sure that you smell different from your colleagues or friends, then you will probably enjoy it because it is safe, it is mass appealing, it performs uh, better than many other ones out there and it is a true gem to the collection. At least I really enjoy how it looks, so give it a try if you haven't already or if you're familiar with these Perfect Fragrances by Mar Jacobs. Let me know if you think they're perfect or not. And with that being said, that was all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to do that and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on my social media to stay in touch. All the helpful information is down below in the description box. And in case you are interested in a top list of modern mainstream designer fragrances for women that are trendy at the moment, let me know. And I will film it for you. And other than that, if there are any other new fragrances out there you would like to hear my thoughts about, just let me know. I'm excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this one. Please stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys.